Tropical Storm 14 S has made landfall today in Western Australia and currently is located around 19.7 degrees south, 120.6 degrees east as of 12 p.m. Western Australia time this January the 22nd. Currently, 14 S has winds of 50 miles per hour or 80 kilometers per hour, a pressure of 994 millibars, moving south at 10 miles per hour or 16 kilometers per hour, has a CDPS stage rating of 3. Here's a breakdown of that stage 3 rating for sand fire. Wind speed and storm size are both low to moderate. Rainfall potential is major and the overall threat to land is moderate. And stage 3 means that considerable damage is possible wherever the storm tracks. Here's the current wind fields of 14S, 55 nautical miles to the northeast, 90 nautical miles to the southeast, 55 nautical miles to the southwest, and 60 nautical miles to the northwest. Again, stage 3 means that considerable damage is possible where the storm makes landfall. Here's the current distances and miles from 14S, uh, currently 233 miles from Beagle Bay, 159 miles from Telfer, 152 miles from Broome, and 87 miles from Bidyadanga, and 12 miles from Sandfire. A cyclone warning is in effect for all those areas listed. Here's the current intensity estimates. Uh, Force 13 and the Bureau of Meteorology is currently sitting at 50 miles per hour. AMSU is all the way up at 60 miles per hour. The JTWC is sitting at 45 miles per hour, and SATCON is at 40 miles per hour. Here's the current JTWC cone, in fact, the final one, showing dissipation along uh, as it moves inland on the 23rd. Uh, generally 35 knots well inland though, so we could see some significant damaging winds uh, far inland from where this storm made landfall. Here's the current HWRF model rain swath. You can see very significant rainfall and you can see why we have a major on the CDPS breakdown you can see a large pocket there along the coastline of 16 to 24 inches of rain and even outside of that a, a large swath of 8 to 16 and 4 to 8 inches of rain. Here's the current sea surface temperatures. This really does not matter for the storm right now as it is over land but you can see behind it is leaving very warm sea surface temperatures and if a storm has the right conditions and goes over that it could easily strengthen quickly. Here's a multi-model diagnostic comparison. Uh, most models, they're saying extra strengthening is possible, uh, but really it's moved inland now, so right now we're looking at weakening for the future of the storm. Wind shear is going to rise significantly starting on the 24th. Uh, you can see the model tracks, sea surface temperatures, and mid-level rel relative humidity there uh, on the models. Here's current infrared of 14S. You can see looking very well. Uh, it has made landfall today as of 12 p.m. Western Australia time, and uh, we expect heavy rainfall to continue for the areas where the storm moves it to.